It's another high quality foodie feature for you with Ian Kay here on Peep This Out Reviews. This time headed into Arby's to go in on what looks to be some pretty tasty looking beer battered goodness. That's right, so stay tuned because their all new beer battered fish sandwich is up next. Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian Kay. Stay frosty. I'm looking so hard, it's totally ready. Yeah, peep this out. Can I go for that new beer battered fish sandwich? Just the sandwich by itself and that's it? Okay, is that all for you today? Yeah, that's it. Just the fish sandwich by itself? You got it. Fantastic, I'll be happy to help you out the window. Awesome, thanks so much. All right, now as most of you guys know, I'm not really a super fan of fast food fish, but this, this looks pretty good. Hello, hey, how are you doing? good. Can I come down to 693? Yes, thank you. you. Oh no, that's fine. Right. Thank you. Here's your car. Awesome, appreciate it. Thanks so much, appreciate what you do. Stay frosty now. All right, we'll see ya. All right, guys, let's peep this out. It's meat craft from the sea down the Arby's way. Feast your eyes on the beer battered fish sandwich. And guys, this thing is really, really huge. I am really digging the size of that cod right there in the middle, looking beautiful. Starting off with that brioche style bun right over here. Let's pop it and see what we've got underneath. Looks like we've got some tartar sauce and feast your eyes on how big that piece of cod is, guys fried up to a crispy golden brown and it's beer battered with actual beer. No alcohol, of course, but a very lovely situation because authenticity is key and that's definitely a cool selling point. Underneath it, and again, you can see, look at the size of this fish, it's huge. We've got some tomato, we've got some lettuce, and underneath that, peeking on the bottom, is some pickles, as you can see there, and more of that tartar sauce. This is looking and smelling really good and it's actually very, very hot. But guys, let's not waste any more time on this one. I can't wait to sink my teeth into it. It's the all new beer battered fish sandwich here at Arby's. Peep out this flavor. All right, so yeah, like I said, I'm not really a fan of fast food fish, but as soon as I saw this one, the look of it instantly grabbed me because guys, the quality of that cod alone, just the thickness of it, looks well above what you'd expect to get from a fast food place, guys. Just look at that with those pickles on the bottom. It looks absolutely fantastic. And thankfully, we've got a fish sandwich diaper in the very back of this because of all the tartar sauce this has got. This is completely littered on the bottom with the good stuff there. So thankfully, this is actually properly equipped. Okay, so before I take the first bite, and like always, if you guys are fans of high quality, delicious looking food reviews, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to tap that bell icon so you can be notified as soon as brand new content drops every week. Guys, the non-alcoholic beer battered fish sandwich here at Harvey's. Let's do it. Mmm. Oh. First off, that pickle snap, along with the acidity and the crunch of them together, along with the flakiness of that cod. Let me just show you real quick here, guys. This is nice and flaky, nice and fresh. Look at that on the inside right there. Just a huge, thick piece of goodness from the sea, naturally, on the inside of a brioche bun. But of course, all the crunchiness that goes with this one, thankfully, the tomato is kind of hanging out in the back. And I'm cool with that. You already know how I feel about tomatoes. But guys, I'm gonna keep going with this one. I'm digging the fried tempura-like outer coating that this has got. It's almost like a flash fry, but the flakiness of that fish is banging. This actually really feels like a high quality fish sandwich. Let's go for another bite. Mmm, ma'am. Peep that out. Take a look at the flakiness on the inside. Now the tartar sauce, let me just get into that real quick because it doesn't really feel like traditional tartar sauce. It's not very thick. Almost like a Miracle Whip type of sweetness that I'm getting with this one here. But man, it complements the outer coating of the fish beautifully and everything else on the inside of this so far is doing its job. And thankfully no tomato just yet because the pickles right now are really making up for everything the sandwich has got going for it. And it really doesn't have to because the fish itself is very flavorful on its own, but I am really digging the inclusion of pickles on this, believe it or not. I think it adds just a whole textural vibe to it on top of what those pickles add anyway. Just a beautiful situation. Let's go for another bite. I'm gonna go for another nice shot of actually this piece right over here. Let me show it to you. I'm probably gonna get some pickle with this one here along with that tomato at the same time. But let's go for that one. This is really, really good. I'm very satisfied so far with this sandwich. Mmm, mmm, fish is awesome. And because of all the tartar sauce that they're using on the sandwich, everything is kind of sliding into the very back of this little fish sandwich diaper here right now. So that's actually a very good thing. I actually did get a little bit of the tomatoes in that one there. I'm not really tasting it too much because of the nice vibrancy of the sauce itself. Like I said, a little bit of sweetness. It's kind of giving me a Miracle Whip vibe, but the overall flavor of the fish. And guys, again, look at the very back of this here. This is just a huge piece of fish. And I gotta say again, for the money, this really doesn't feel like a fast food type of sandwich. It's a huge piece of fish, like I said, and it's very, very thick. And thankfully, the breading is not overtaking the actual flavorfulness and the size of the actual fish itself. It really feels like a flaky type of cod. It's really solid. And the quality is just banging on this one here. 
Let's go for one more bite on this one before this last close up I'm gonna give you here right now. And obviously we'll finish it up after the rating. But guys, a very, very solid outing with this fish sandwich. I'm so glad to have given this one a shot. And thankfully I didn't listen to myself by not going in on fast food fish this time out here at Arby's. Cause guys, this is another variation of chicken from the sea. I know you're probably thinking tuna, but I gotta admit, this is banging. This should actually be on the menu year round. It really is tasty. One more bite, we'll finish it up after the rating and we'll close this one out. Let's do it. All right, so this one is super messy. I can't spin this one around for you because the very back, well, actually, you know what? Let me just show you what I'm looking at here right now. Look at the very back of this fish sandwich diaper, guys. It is loaded with the good stuff, packed up, ready to go. And it really is a good call to actually have the sandwich, have one of those because it really needs it. But as you can see, a very flaky situation on the cod. And again, the inclusion of those pickles absolutely love that on top of the nice quality of that brioche bun solid combination of everything all together and just a very solid fish sandwich it's definitely getting the job done very tasty Arby's, our drive -through is open. man i may have to change my mode of thinking when it comes to fast food fish after this experience right now because that is a high water benchmark right there and i have a feeling the batter has something to do with that naturally it's non-alcoholic it is beer battered but the quality is very solid the flakiness of the cod is amazing and overall like i said those pickles and the combination of that miracle whip style dressing I guess I can call it dressing because that's really kind of what it is. It wasn't really getting real tartar sauce flavor out of that, but the flavor that it did deliver was absolutely there. So overall, I'm gonna have to give the beer battered fish sandwich here at Arby's a rock solid 10 out of 10. Just delivered really pretty much across the board with this one, guys. The flavor was off the chart and the thickness of that cod especially, and the fact that it didn't really have a lot of breading on the outside, even though it initially looked like it, it was more of a flash fry tempura style. I really love the quality of that because you can really taste the fish, and that really is the big standout on top of the pickles, naturally. Again, I keep coming back to that because I love the crunch, the snap, the acidity, and what it really added to the overall package. Just a solid sandwich overall, and one I'd easily recommend for you, especially if you love fish. Okay, so now the obvious question, are you gonna be giving this one a shot? Are you a fan of fast food fish in general? All those things that I'd love to know down in the comment section down below. So drop those comments. Let me know what you thought of this one in particular based upon my review right now. And if you do give this one a shot, what did you think of the overall quality? Did it look the same as what you actually saw here today? Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. And with that, this is ENK closing out another high quality foodie feature for you here on Peep This Out Reviews, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So I stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. Say what you will about tuna, this beer battered fish sandwich here at Arby's is absolutely the main chicken of the sea. Just saying. All right guys, until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Hey, thanks so much for checking out another one of my reviews. But just in case you didn't see the one before this one, you can find it right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's gonna recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya.